Hi everyone, this is Sandy Reese with StampAcrew.com. I'm an independent Stamp Up demonstrator. Thank you so much for joining me for another video tutorial today. I have um, a fun stamp set uh, and punch that I'm gonna be featuring over the next uh, few videos, a fish and a wish. And then we have this great punch that punches out two different fish plus little fins. So I think this just looks like goldfish to me. I love this one. Uh, before, but before we get started, just wanted to let you know that I have um, a special 12 Weeks of Christmas event that's starting first week of October. I'll be posting once a week for 12 weeks special exclusive uh, Christmas projects for my email subscribers. So you have to be on the list to receive this free um tutorial each week. There will be instructions, photos, might be videos, might be more projects, so you just never know. You've got to sign up for my email list to find out. So uh, I will put the link to subscribe to my email list on the below in the description, so make sure to join so you don't miss out. These will not be fe featured on my YouTube channel and not on my Facebook group, only in my email list. So don't forget. All right, let's get started with today's project. So we're using a fish and wish, and I wanted to make a super, the second I saw this, I wanted to make a super cute treat holder using mini Swedish fish. I love these, they come in little packets. And when I use, um, you know, treats like this, I like to pick out the colors that go best. So I am using Real Red and Pacific Point. Those match the best out of our colors. I'm also using Basic White, and that's it. And then these two colors in our ink. So when I go to make a topper, so we're just make this is a simple project anybody can do. Um, we're going to, to measure our topper. Let me get my ruler out real quick. I know I have this, but I, <coughs> excuse <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, got too excited there. I measure to see how wide my treat bag is, and it is just over three inches, about three and an eighth of an inch. So when I cut my topper, I go a little larger, so about three and a quarter inches for my topper. And then these are pretty small, so I'm using two, and I'm going to put them back to back like that. And usually my topper, this one should be about four inches. So that gives me three and a quarter by two for the front of my topper. If it's larger, I will make it wider, maybe a little bit taller to have some nice proportions. All right, so just take this, make sure your candy is down at the bottom. Then we're gonna fold this over both packs and I don't want to cover up the Swedish fish so make sure it's not you know don't put it all the way down we just want it uh, right about here okay so I'm gonna hold those tight and then bring in a stapler make sure they're straight and then I will staple from the back now really it doesn't matter on this one because I have the front showing through on either side but this is my back because I want the smooth staples on the back so it doesn't you know, catch anybody or poke anyone. And then my rough staples are on the front. That way I can cover them with my panel. Now you can either glue this down or you can pop it up. Either way, those rough staples are going, are going to be covered so they don't uh, cause any problems. Okay, so we're going to stamp here. Now I'm going to do two, so I'm going to show you a couple different options that you could have. So we're going to start with Pacific Point, and then this is the little wave stamp. It's upside down. It can go either way. So for this one, my first one, I'm just going to stamp my wave. I'm going white on white here so I can see. Uh, stamp my wave just once. On this one, I'm gonna stamp it a, a couple times. So I'll do once, and then I'm going to flip it around, add some wave here, add a little wave there. You can also do some waves down here. So you could make it, you know, a little more full. 
I'm gonna add a little more to fill in. So you've got more of an ocean vibe going. All right, now I'm also going to do my sentiment and I'm going to do a sea of thanks for this one because we've got a sea going. Uh, all right, mess that one up, let's try it again. Oh, that's a mess. Okay, hold on. This is when, <laughs> this is when we bring in our, our uh, um, an extra sheet. It's just cardstock, right? All right, let's just press, press a little harder on our sentiment. And we'll go back in and do a quick ocean here. Got our waves going. And overlapping. Okay, very quick. We don't need that. Okay, now on this one, I wanted to add a sentiment because this is like my best sentiment that I love to do with the fish. It's from Whale Done. It's called Hoping All Your Birthday Fishes Come True. So I just think every fish set should have this sentiment and this one doesn't, but that's okay because I do have the other one. So I'm just going to put that there and let's stamp our fish. So we're gonna stamp some red fish and I'm using this one and some real red ink. And I'm going to stamp it over on this side. We'll do one there. And I stamp it over to the right. This is just a strip of scrap paper so that it, it fits in our punch and I can use this, uh, the extra as a handle to kind of hold on to it. So let's go ahead and stamp one more. And then we'll have two toppers. Close this up and move that out of the way. All right. Now you could stamp a, a little fin or you could just do another fin. I'm going to just go with our basic fish here. And then bring in a little wink of Stella. So we're gonna use this and what it will do is kind of blend the red on that fish Plus it also gives a little bit of sparkle to the fish. Because fish are a little sparkly. Okay, we'll go ahead and do this one while we're at it. Okay, I'm gonna wipe that off, make sure there's no red. And then if you want, you can go ahead and add a little wink of Stella to your ocean your waves it's up to you it's just more for a little bit of fun sparkle not required but why not right okay so let's go ahead and I think we'll use this one uh, adhesive that's what I need and I will post measurements on my blog uh, I bought these Swedish fish online, but you might be able to find them in your local store. They are the Swedish fish minis. It's uh, a 10 and a half ounce bag. It has 24 packs. So if you were doing two for each, you could do, um, you could get 12 out of one pack. Let's just go ahead and make another topper. I'll put this right here, whoops stuck that down before I was ready. Okay, now we can adhere that down or we can pop it up. I think I'll just, just stick it down. If I was gonna make a ton of these, uh, I like to go fast and make them fast. These would be super cute for um, party favors. If you were having a, birth a kid's birthday party, you could do a sea of thanks to thank them for coming to the birthday party. All right, let's grab a couple of mini dimensionals. We'll just put one there on his body, one at the tail. We're going to stick him in the ocean and we're going to give him a couple of bubbles. And I'm using the iridescent rhinestone jewels. So we're gonna grab a larger jewel right here and then a smaller one. That might be a medium size. So, you know, just as long as you have two different sizes, that's all, all you need. Isn't that cute? And that's it. 
I mean, how quick was that? You could make a ton of these super quick. We had a class last night. We made this project and we had a pastor and he was talking about doing this for, um, for his church group. Talking about, you know, the, the fishes and the loaves. I'm pretty sure that's what he said. Okay, I'm not, I'm not an expert. This would be great for a Bible study class as well. Um, using one of these other sentiments, we have love never fails, sending well wishes here for you, or you could stamp your own, whatever you have. Um, so this would go on another top topper just like that. May all your birthday fishes come true. Isn't that cute? Love these. Okay, don't forget, uh, sign up for my newsletter so you don't miss out on that 12 days or 12 weeks of Christmas coming up in October. And please make sure to click subscribe so you don't miss out on future YouTube videos. I appreciate you all stopping by so much. And I will see you back here on Saturday. All right. Thanks, everyone.